just starting training camp, but here we are in October, and off we go on EA Sports. And no run back on the opening kickoff. It will come out to the 25. So out come the Rams now for their first possession. And leading him out, their veteran quarterback. Well, the silver lining from last week, he played phenomenally. Kept the ball clean and led them to the end zone several times. You know these NFL quarterbacks, though, they trade away all those touchdowns if it meant getting the win. That's his focus this week. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And yeah, this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. And here are the key inactives for them in this one. And obviously, Charles, they're going to be without some important names this week. Well, hopefully those guys will be on the sidelines encouraging the guys who are going out there and helping them when they come off the sidelines during the game by giving them some tips on what they see and what they've experienced. That's true teamwork. And if you want to get to the playoffs, if you want to have a big push, you have to have that on your squad. Inside give to Dickerson. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. Back-to-back -back nice plays, 12 yards that time and a first down. They'll go right back to the ground with Dickerson. The tackle by Eric Armstead. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. Here's Warner. And his throw is incomplete. They come up now third and five. Pass. Now Warner. He'll get this complete to Cooper Cup. And this will move the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the 49ers 26. 16 yards is the pickup there and a first down for L.A. Now Warner. Wide open receiver complete. And they do get him down, but not before he's able to slip it inside the five-yard line. A good pick up there, a 22. A lot of precision being shown on this opening drive. They've been methodical. They've been crisp. And as a reward, they're going to be set up with an early first and goal. And they'll let the fullback try and take him home. And he gets halfway there from the four to the two on a gain of two. From the two now, second and goal. Jackson will score. Touchdown, L.A. But just power football there down near the goal line. Give it to him. He's able to push his way across. Yeah, they went heavy there. Sometimes you have those big offensive linemen come in, have to report like they're eligible. But all they're doing is getting a good stance, blocking, and getting their runner across the goal line. Extra point by Gay is up and good. And it's now a 7-0 game. The Rams kickoff team on the field. And here we go with the ball in the air. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. So here's the first drive now for the 49ers. And a glance here at the vet. He's got a lot of years under his belt in the National Football League. And you and I both know that any win is a good win. And that's what they did last week. But there's also plenty for him to work on in his game, wasn't there? Yeah. Two touchdowns, an Every interception. Pick. Yeah, you know, he wants to increase that a little bit in terms of ratio. But first and foremost, they did win the game. A little jet sweep to start the drive. Uh, he's got this almost to the 40 before going out. They may want to go back to that one. First play of the drive, good for 15 and a first down. And that's something you have to get ready for defensively because in today's NFL, teams will use their wide receivers on jet sweeps, end of rounds. They'll move them back in the backfield and make them running backs. Partner, this was much more of a tap pass, but effective nonetheless. And I think both guys love it if you're... Touchdown, 49ers! River Craycraft, his fifth touchdown now on the year. 
And the 49ers are able to strike back quickly with an opening touchdown of their own. Gold able to tack on the extra point, and we are tied at seven. Pretty clean and simple there. Just two plays, the long pass resulting in the touchdown on play number two. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start at the 25. So the Rams coming back onto the field, their second drive of the game. Now, early on, you know, Charles, every game could be called a measuring stick game. But I think when it comes within your division like this, it's a measuring stick game with a little extra intrigue. I would agree with that totally because all division games have a little extra to them. But I like where this game is situated because at this stage of the season, it has that little extra juice. But at the same time, it's not a make or break if this were, let's say, week 15, 16, somewhere in that neighborhood. The numbers a week ago for Cup, nine catches, 110 yards and the score. On first and 10, Warner. Look, I know everybody wants to be number one in everything they do, but he's number two in the league in receiving yards. That's a strong number, a strong year, and they want that to continue. A play fake. Now Warner. Blitz coming, and down he goes. They dial up the corner blitz that time, and it delivers to the tune of a nine-yard loss. Now come to the line here, needing nine yards to pick up the first. It's caught by Jackson, and he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. The Rams, they are on the move. They've got another first down. To throw, Warner. Throw left side, complete to come. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. Another nice gain, 16 yards there and a first down again. Dickerson trying the right side, dancing away at the 35. And he'll snag about five yards down to the 32. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. Now, look, that wasn't a huge gain, but those are the types of carries I think they were missing in their loss last week. They couldn't get him going on the ground. Did you get the same feeling I did during our meetings that they kind of regretted that he didn't touch the Absolutely. ball? Absolutely. You know, hey, he should have touched it more last week. They weren't going to make that same mistake, and they've taken care of that early. They run on first down with Jackson. And he'll get it down this time to the 17. A good position to be in here, second and inches. Order to throw. That would complete to Skoranek. And the Rams are going to have a first and goal as the tackle made at the 10-yard line. Warner. This is caught. Touchdown, Rams. Brandon Powell, his first touchdown on the year. And the Rams have taken the lead. This has to be great for the psyche of this offense. Presented with bad field position, they didn't let it stop them. They rolled downfield and scored a touchdown. Extra point by Gay is up and good. And that makes the score 14-7. So that one, a pretty time-consuming 10-play drive. And the result for the Rams, a touchdown. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. The San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. A first carry for Trenton Cannon. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Sometimes you just sit back and marvel at what he can do defensively. Speed, strength, quickness, he's the whole package. And that package just wrapped up the runner for a loss. And he is going to lose yardage here. The tally there, minus two yards, brings up third down. And not an easy spot here. They'll be in search of 13 yards to try to pick up the first. And that is incomplete. 
incomplete. Well, they've got man coverage on the outside, and my scouting report on these DBs tells me that they love to take matters in their own hands. They want man coverage, not zone, and there was good coverage there that forced the incompletion. It'll be 37 yards there on the punt, and the Rams will go on offense here for the first and 10. So here are the Rams to take over. They lost two straight coming in, but good news for them right now. They've got the lead and the football. Play action. It's Warner. That'll be caught. It's Cup. And they'll get this to the 30-yard line before Kyle Shanahan doesn't care much for that last call. So out comes the red challenge flag. Did he keep those feet in bounds? That's the question they've got to decide. And I got to say, watching it in real time, it was awfully close. Yeah, it certainly looked like a heck of a catch because he didn't appear to bobble it, which could complicate things. But even with the benefit of replay, that's pretty tight. Well, here's the call. So the challenge there does not go their way. This will indeed remain a completed pass. It'll be Warner on first down. He gets this into the hands of Cup once again. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Going to give it up the middle. Here's Dickerson. And he'll take it down here just shy of the 15 at the 16-yard line. Clock runs. Less than a minute to go. And an entertaining first quarter of play. Right back to him on first down. He will push his way down to about the 14. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Operating from the gun, Warner. And that is caught by the back judge right there to say incomplete. On third down, Warner. That is caught at the seven. And he will be out of bounds here on what will turn out to be the final play of this first quarter. Through one quarter, 14-7 our score. Gay's kick is good, and they will move up by 10 now, 17 to 7. So that one on target, and it adds to this first half lead. And maybe we're too early to worry too much about one score lead, two score lead, etc. But this is where you kind of start banking those points that come in helpful later on. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. They find themselves down 17 to 7 as they start this drive first and 10. And a high throw there as this is knocked away down to the ground and incomplete. So following the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 25. They'll try it up the gut with Gore. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. The Rams calling on their nickel set here defensively for third down. Now Montana. Man open, that's Debo Samuel. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 13 yards on his first catch. It's a first down as well. They run with Gore out of the shotgun. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. So from Rams territory now, it's first and 10 at the 46. Here's Montana to throw. They'll be caught by Rice. And he's got this down a yard or two shy of the 40 before he's out of bounds. Throwing again on second down. Montana, he finds his man complete. That's Rice. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Rams' 27-yard line. Play action. It's Montana. And that is caught on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. The throw took him a little too far. It's second down. On second and ten. 
Montana. And this is incomplete. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and ten. They will look to throw. Montana. That's going to be caught. And he's brought down after a very nice game. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. To throw is Montana. Touchdown! Ross Dwelly. Fine work there on the touchdown run. And the 49ers have got it back to within a score. Gold with the extra point, and the lead's down to a field goal at 17-14. A 10-play drive that time, and the gadget play gets him into the end zone. This one fielded at the 5. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. Their drive last time, it stalled out. They were forced to take the short field goal. And the key phrase, you nailed it. Forced to, because you know coaches look at these short field goals as a last resort, right? To them, that's not how drives are supposed to end. You're supposed to put six on the board. That's a consolation prize, like going to the county fair. You don't get the big stuffed animal on that one, do you? No, you don't go top shelf. That's bottom shelf material. And he's taken down inside the 30. 18 more yards there and another first down. Not only have they completed a couple on this drive, but they peeled off some pretty good chunks of yardage, too. Absolutely. Great start. Two nice plays in the pass game. Now can they continue to feed off that? A first down run. Good for about three. Second and seven coming up. And the last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Warner from the gun. Going down the middle, and it's complete. And he doesn't quite make it, taking it with it, an eyelash. Dropped at the one. And they'll turn to the power game to try to get in. And he's going to take this one in for a Rams touchdown. A great effort there with his first career NFL touchdown. And the Rams are in for six. Extra point by Gay is up and good. And his guys will take a 10-point lead. And this taken in at the goal line. And he brings this out past the 20 to the 24. The San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. A long drive last time out for this offense, Charles. If you remember, they started basically in the shadows of their own end zone, marched it down the field, and a lot of that was through the passing game. And partner, as a former defensive back, I'm having almost a physical reaction watching what's happening right now. But let's give credit where it's due because they've done an excellent job moving the ball through the air. Secondary getting picked apart pass by pass. Obviously, they need to make some adjustments there on the back end. Yeah, because offensively, we know that they're not going to be shy about throwing that football. After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. Montana. That's complete to Trenton Cannon, the running back. And that'll be good for eight yards to the 45. The Niners on third down. They've been okay, two for three thus far. Here it's third and two. They'll try and pick up the first with Gore. They juked him, and they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. They'll get 17 on that one, and the Niners have a first down. He'll look to throw, and he will find Davis. That's complete, and he'll be taken down here just shy of the 30. Here's a handoff out of the gun. And he's able to get it down to the 25-yard line. Back to the ground, this time with Gore. And on this one, he'll get to the 15, right at the 15-yard line. Still a few inches short of a first down as they come up now on second down. And they'll run on the inside handoff. 
Oh, a good move at the five. And he couldn't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. A solid pickup at 13 sets him up first and goal. That would give to the big fullback use check. And he'll take this into the end zone for a San Francisco touchdown. Kyle Juszczyk, his first rushing touchdown of the year. And the Niners are back within a score. Gold able to tack on the extra point. And that cuts the lead to three, 24-21. Take it in at the three. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. And right now, we've got a little bit of an offensive masterpiece going on both sides, moving the football, scoring points. It's almost like somebody put the defense on rookie mode in this one. I mean, we haven't even left the first half, Charles, and we're certainly on pace for a shootout. An excellent start for both offenses. The fans have to be enjoying this to seeing all these points go up on the board. As a former defender, you know I'm not enjoying this at all, but right now, both these teams just trading haymakers. Let's see if anyone slips up first. Can anyone counter with a nice little jab and get things going in their direction? And he's going to have a Rams first down by about a yard as they're able to convert on third and two. Looking to throw, Warner. Trying to find Cup, but it's intercepted. Picked up by Darren Hall. And he'll take it across midfield and down to the 48-yard line. A reminder coming up just a few minutes from now, we'll send you to Jonathan Coachman and our crew in Orlando. Coach will have a look back at some of the stats and scores from yesterday's action. Montana's throw taken in by Samuel. And the tackle going to be made at the 38. A good down to possibly take a shot. And in fact, they'll come up with an empty backfield on second and inches. Meanwhile, the throw here is complete. And he's going to get this inside the 30. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. And that'll be incomplete. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Back to throw again. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. Now San Francisco going to call their second timeout as the clock will stop with 55 seconds to go until halftime. Shotgun. Here's Montana. And that will be incomplete. Oh, that's going to hurt a bit because they needed to come through with a completion there. Now a drive that started with great field position is facing fourth down. The kick by Gold is good, and that will tie us at 24 all. So, Charles, they get to them with their first turnover of the game and then make it hurt a little bit extra with a field goal. And anytime you give the ball up, what's the first thing a coach tells his defense? Don't let them score off of this. You've got to put out the fire. In fact, in 2021, that's what one NFL coach termed his defense. The firemen. Go out there, guys, and don't let them put some points on the board. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. The Rams going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts as it'll come with 36 ticks to go in half number one. A good gain on first has them set up with second and just a couple of inches now from the 29. Back to throw. Warner. And he'll be hit as he releases it. And that'll fall incomplete. On third and short, they'll try and pick it up through the air. He finds his man complete. That's Holt. Now another timeout called for by the offense. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Out of the gun, here's Warner. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. 
Now the offense will burn their third and final timeout. And with halftime on the horizon, they'll be out of timeouts from here forward. Open man is Skoranek. He's got it. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And down he goes. The 49ers get there. And they're going to take a timeout defensively. So with fourth down coming up, they go ahead and burn it and say, we'll see what happens. So the Rams call on Johnny Hecker here to punt it away on fourth down. He punted four times in the loss last week as he gets this one away here. And that hits at the six and carries into the end zone for a touchback. No reason to do anything foolish as they'll snap it one more time on first down. The final second ticks by, and that's going to do it for the first half of play. So we've reached halftime in a wild first half. We'll take a minute to catch our breath as we'll send you eastward to Orlando. Standing by with that EA Sports Halftime Report now is Jonathan Coachman. Take it away, Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. We'll get back to you and Charles in a minute. But first, time to give the folks at home a look at what's going on around the NFL. We'll get started over at Mercedes-Benz Stadium in downtown Atlanta, where it was the Falcons who were able to pick up the victory at home. Mike Davis, a touchdown run in the victory. We'll stay in the NFC South as we head to Carolina to check on the Panthers. And they were winners in that one over the visiting Arizona. All right, folks, eager to get back to this week four matchup. We won't put up a fight. And ready to get the party started for the second half. It was an even first half, all tied on the scoreboard. And this will not be returned, so the second half begins with a touchback. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. This offense ready for the first drive of the third quarter. Well, quarters number one and two entertaining. We saw some good offense points put up, Charles, and all tied on the scoreboard. And it sets us up for what could be a really fun second half because we've seen both sides score almost at will here in the first half. And now, here in the second half, getting the ball first, you've got to think, hey, we can go out and really run our offense what we did in the first half. But if I'm a defensive player, all I'm thinking is, can I make a play to really help out my team and break this streak of offense? Joe Montana here going to the air on first down. Over the middle, complete to Samuel. And he'll be corralled out across midfield down to the 45. Two catches in the first half. Now he's got a third here, and it's good for a first. From the gun, and a loose football. And now the Rams have got it going the other way. And he'll take it across midfield and down to the 48-yard line. They'll start out here with a jet sweep. And just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and ten coming up. To throw on second down. Warner. It's a short one here. Complete to the tight end. And he'll be brought down just shy of the 40. So third and two. This quite possibly four down territory though if they're stopped. Looking to throw. Warner got his man complete over the middle. It's Holt. And he is going to have a Rams first down as they convert on third and three with a nice gain of seven yards. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. He'll get it inside the 20. And he'll go out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. Dickerson on the handoff. And he's going to get about four down inside the 10 to the nine. Nine-yard line, second and six. Running it with Dickerson. Oh, good move. And he'll be brought down here at the three-yard line. Back to throw. Warner. And it's complete. He's got it in the end zone. Touchdown, Rams. Ben Skoranek 
from three yards out. And the Rams are in for six. Extra point by Gay is up and good. And they will take a seven-point lead. The Rams kickoff team on the field. And here we go with the ball in the air. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start at the 25. The San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. Right now, they're on the wrong end of the scoreboard, and that won't change if this drive ends like the last one when they had that lost fumble. So you have a feeling taking care of the football is certainly paramount right now. Yeah, and it's not just the guy who dropped it on the last drive, is it? That means everyone who might touch the ball is getting the same message. Guys, ball security, paramount. Let's take care of it. And if we do, we've got a chance to put points on the board. He had the touchdown earlier. This one's going to get him a first down. From the gun, they'll try to run it. Finding room at midfield. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. 63 yards rushing now on eight carries for him so far. First and ten for Montana and company. They'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. He stiff arms him. And past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and ten. Up the middle they go with Gore. Gave a glimpse of his power, but not a whole lot of space. Down at the 30. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. They'll set up a throw. And he hits the tight end, it's Davis. And they're gonna move it down inside the 25. Seventh play of the drive now as they come up on a third and three. Now a handoff for Gore. And he will have the first before he's brought down right on the chalk of the 20. Gore again here on first down. This will be a five-yard pickup as they move it from the 20 to the 15. Second and five now. Montana and able to get him down, but he does reach the five. On first and goal, Gore. And he's going to take it in. Touchdown, San Francisco. Frank Gore. A five-yard touchdown run. And the Niners are an extra point away from drawing level. Gold with the extra point, and that will tie our game here in the third. Nothing separating these two teams on the scoreboard as the kick's away here. Taking it about the one. And a nice return sets them up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. And their lead has evaporated in this third quarter. It's tied once more as they begin with a first and ten. And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. The drive starting play, a good one. Give him 19. So one play, and they're already just shy of midfield. Inside give to Dickerson. And he's got this one across midfield into 49er territory. On second down, Warner, his throw incomplete. They come up now third and five following the incomplete pass. Looking to throw, Warner. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And he is going to have a Rams first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. This offensive game plan has just been sensational. I mean, when you think about all the different ways they've gotten their receivers open so far, 
It's really been impressive. Scheme, design, execution. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. Operating from the gun. Warner trying to find Bruce, and it's intercepted. Picked by Emmanuel Mosley. Down the numbers. There he goes. And into the end zone. A pick six for the 49er D as they score the touchdown. Now gold for the extra point. And they will take a seven-point lead now. So the defense creating some points, not only getting the interception, but then returning it to the end zone for the pick six. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. And not the first time that they're coming back out off of a turnover, but the last one really hurt Charles with that pick six. And it feels like the whole team's infected right now, doesn't it? It's not just been one person. It's kind of been a group effort where the mistakes have happened. Can they put that aside, kind of start over, and put together a nice drive? Back now here in Santa Clara. It's the Rams trailing, but they do have the football as we start the fourth and final quarter. Now the Niners get there and bring him down. Eric Armstead, his second sack of the night. Pass protection has been a problem all night long as they come up facing second and a bundle. Operating from the gun, Warner. And his throw here is incomplete. Well, partner guaranteed they approach this play with the idea of making up ground to make third down manageable. Unfortunately, with that incompletion, right back where they started on the last snap. Now they need a big third down play in order to pick up the yardage needed. Throwing the out route incomplete. That's Holt. And he goes out of bounds. It looks like right at the 50. Here's Johnny Hacker now. He'll boot it away from about his 35. And he gets it away, a directional kick going toward the sideline. And they won't risk defending a return here. That one's out of bounds, and it'll be spotted spotted at the 14-yard line. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. Their defense got the stop, forced the punt, and now you really start to monitor the clock as they nurse this slim lead. Chad Thomas bringing the power on the sack. And that'll be marked down as their first sack of the game. Well, they had six last week, and this offense did its homework, didn't it? Because they saw all that pressure, and they really worked hard to tamp it down and beat it back, and they did a great job in the first half. And now they've gotten their first sack here in the second half. Look out. They'll try to increase the pressure. He finds his man complete. That's Rice. And he'll only get this to the 14 as he'll come up well short of the first down. Here comes the 49ers punter now as he'll punt it away for the second time. Taken right around the 44. A pretty good return, all things considered, but holding. I agree with you totally. It's actually a return that they were going to be very proud of. But when you end up holding and bringing it back, now your offense has to start a little bit deeper in their own territory. And able to rip off a big chunk of yardage before being dropped inside the 40. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Here's Eric Dickerson. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. The drive continues as they search for a tying touchdown. Here's first and 10. Operating from the gun, Warner. And it's incomplete. Boy, he doesn't drop many like that one. Second down. So after the incompletion on first, now second and 10. They'll try and run up the gut with Gurley. And not much. Maybe a yard down to the 23. The Rams on third down. Six conversions and nine tries. They've done a great job of picking these up. This is third and nine. Man open. It's
Vince Cup. He's got it. And they work this near the five. He'll be stopped at the six. A looming decision to make on the conversion down seven. But first things first, they need to score as they come up on first and goal. Back to throw. Warner. And down he goes. Pressure gets him back at the 14. It'll go as a loss of eight and a tough result there on first and goal. Looking to throw on second down. Warner looking left side and he's got a man. That's Holt. That catch good for eight, but still, it's third and goal now. Operating from the gun. Warner. And this is caught. He's got it. Touchdown, L.A. From six yards away. And the Rams are an extra point away from tying this game here on the fourth. Don't forget the extra point. It's up and good. And we are tied here in the fourth quarter. Set to go now with the kickoff. These two teams all even again as we continue in this wild fourth quarter. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start at the 25. The San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. Well, they just gave up the score to tie it. That's the bad news. The good news, plenty of time in this fourth quarter to try to grab that lead back. And they're able to get this one across the 35. 74 yards on the ground for him now on nine carries. On first down, it's Gore. And he puts his head down and gets up to the 42 for a gain of about six. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. Hands it off out of the gun. And he'll go down right around the 47 this time. On first down, Montana. It's caught by Davis. And he'll take this from 147-yard line to the other. A gain of six. To throw again on second down. Montana over the middle complete. That's Owens. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Rams 35. And here's a handoff out of the gun. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. The last run got nine. That leaves him with second and a yard. And they'll keep leaning on the running game. Back to the ground. And they'll work it inside the 15-yard line before it's all said and done. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. Here's Gore now, running out of the gun. Showed off the toughness, but still corralled shy of the five at the six. From the six now, on second and three. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. Operating out of the gun, here's Montana. And he's got it! And he'll be brought down with the first down and a late flag here, too. And he may get a few more tacked on for good measure. So give him the yardage on the pass and half the distance to the goal line. Because they're inside the 30, so now you don't march off the full 15, right? You have half the distance to the goal. And, then he... and across the goal line, into the end zone, touchdown 49ers. Frank Gore with his second touchdown of the night. And the Niners answer back with a touchdown of their own to break our tie and take the lead here in the fourth. Gold able to tack on the extra point, and they will take a seven-point lead. Fielded just outside the goal line. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. Now a 
first down throw. Warner, he finds his man complete. It's Holt. So the completion good for just three. And that will bring up second down. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes. And we've got a one-score game. So it's Rams football here as we get you reset. They come up on a second down now in a game that looks like it's going to go down to the wire. And he'll be taken down, but not before they reach the 50. First down now, but that clock rolling. He'll look to throw. And he's going to be intercepted for the third time thus far. Picked up by Darren Hall. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. They'll try and choose some clock with Gore. The Rams going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. Now a second timeout called for by the defense as they'll get it with just under 90 seconds remaining. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. On third down, they'll run with Gore. And he'll be well short of a first down as he stopped again right at the line of scrimmage. Here comes the 49ers punter now as he'll kick it away for the second time. officially and it will be first and ten as they take over set to begin their next drive the Rams offense at the line and three interceptions in this game and I would have to think I wasn't a quarterback but number four is kind of oh you're like oh man I can't throw four no what's interesting is what do the coaches decide to do now having thrown three do you alter your offensive strategy do you take the ball out of his hands and maybe turn to the running game or do you have that supreme confidence that he's going to turn things around <laughs> we'll see what they do and incomplete on the deep ball as expected they're going for it to keep the drive alive he finds his man complete that's Holt and he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. Back to throw. He'll drop this down to Jackson. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. Ten seconds to go. Back to throw. And that'll be incomplete with just six seconds left on the clock. They work again from the 38 on second and 10. They'll look to throw. This to possibly force OT. And this is incomplete. So no miracles here on the final play. And this ball game is over. But all came down to one final jump ball on the Hail Mary. But part of the defense was ready. Able to force it to be incomplete. Ball game over. Look, let's face it, everybody wants to work the ball in closer and take a more high percentage pass to try and tie the game. But the Hail Mary, that's what they had to work with. And now they're just hoping that their jumpers can get up higher and are stronger than the defenders. Not the case in this instance. They end up losing the game. So for the Niners, that early momentum continues here as they move to 4-0. and And they will hit the road next week to take on the Carolina Panthers. Meanwhile, for Los Angeles, they'll drop down to one and three, and they'll try to get back on track next week as they head to Dallas 